Hi there, Johnny here from johnnylipsonstudios.co.uk and this is episode number 11 of my Studio One 4.5 series and in this video we are going to be looking at video export. Um, I kind of looked at this very briefly in my uh, overview video in episode one but now we're going to look at it in a little bit more detail and kind of uh, show you um, what results uh, can be generated um, by doing this. So I've got this little mock-up here. Um, I've got an outtake of one of my videos <laughs> and I've put a music bed, uh, a mocked up music bed underneath it. I'll just play just a, a little bit of that. All right, another mic check. Hopefully this time we'll not get any flipping crackling. So there you go. I was a bit annoyed because I was getting some crackles when I was uh, shooting some of the videos from this series, in fact. And uh, so there you go. That's what that was. And I put a mocked up music bed underneath it. And uh, I have already gone ahead and exported this, but I'm going to show you um, how you go ahead and export this. So when you're ready and you're happy with the music bed or whatever else it is or sound effects, any other sound design that you're going to put into your video, when you're ready to, um, to uh, render this out, you go to Song, and then you go to Export Video, and then this dialog box comes up, and you've got the option to either use the source codex of the original video that you've brought in, and you can give it a new name and a destination, um, or you can change the file type to, um, if you click this little drop down here, it will show you what file types are available on your OS, what is compatible with your OS and your computer. Um, and then I would recommend that you leave it defaulted to video. What this means is it will export the entire duration of your video. Um, and that is how I would do it um, pretty much every time uh, and it's pretty cool when you do that and then you just hit OK and it depending upon the length of your video um, your project that you're working on it may take um, quite a while to uh, write the video um, but I mean this is only 28 seconds so this only took me a matter of just about five or six seconds to render um, and then what happens is it spits out um, an mp4 file type which is down here and when I open this all right another mic check hopefully this time we'll not get any flipping crackling and that's what you get now in this case it's a little bit blurred at the start and that's not to do with the um, export process um, that you have now in Studio One 4.5. That's to do with the fact that um, I'm using, or at least for that original video, I was using OBS, and um, it doesn't really work too terribly well with my video card. So um, your results and your mileage will likely vary. Um, but as you can see, it, it does come more sharp into focus because the crackling is so annoying. So there, you can see it's actually properly nice and sharp and in focus. Um, it just started off a little bit blurred. Um, but that was to do with the original video source. It was like that when I originally shot the video. All right, so that's, uh, that's how it spits it out. And you can save it to wherever you wish. So I will see you on the next video. Bye for now.